Oh. oh my god guys so i've just been second to last to get into scrutineering so as you can see the lovely lady in the uh, volkswagen class behind me she's the last one and then that's the queue to get into scrutineering and i've just made it today has been an absolute nightmare with traffic so drove down today it took like two hours 40 minutes the m6 was completely shut and the um the m6 toll so I, I knew it was shut so i like went across to the m6 toll and then the person in the m6 toll in front of me couldn't work the car machine and then the, the car machine broke so i sat there for five minutes so we're in now just so let's see if they pass this and um hopefully because we're like the last ones of the day they'll let it through quite easily because it's just a golf Ooh, let's have a cup of tea Okay, so we're heading to the track now in the Volkswagen Polo, the support car, and today it's meant to rain at two o'clock, so that's really not very cool. Um, I'm hoping that if it does rain, it's only for like five minutes, um, but I've put into the suggestion box at Santa Pod that, um, that they should put a cover over the track, like a big stadium cover, but they mustn't have got to that box yet, so... We'll see, we'll see how much racing we get done today, but I'll try and film some more behind the scenes. And our first race isn't until 20 past 12, so that should give me about two hours just to sort of get everything prepped. And um, the golf is very dirty, that's the only thing that's annoying me, but I'm not gonna wash it, because if I wash it, then water will be dripping out of it on my run, which I don't want. So yeah, let's head there now. We're actually gonna start to go round the back of the track now. So the track is through there on your right, with all the racers, and um, because we're special we get to go around so you should be able to see it through there i can smell it already there's all your different classes of race cars so once you're through into the pits you start getting stuck behind bicycles and drag race cars there's a lamborghini not a real lamborghini in my opinion it's an audi but you know so now i'm going to try and weave my way around to the pits our pits okay so we're here now back with the golf in amongst all my mates, so I'm gonna go say hi to a few people and yeah, get the car prepped. We've just been called up for qualifying round one and I've dialed in a 16.3. So I don't know if it'll get that. I think it'll run slower, but that's nice, safe and conservative. So yeah, let's head down. I'll try and remember how to launch with a clutch. In the pairing lanes and we're behind Ash in the R34 Skyline. There is one problem with running a diesel. Usually I'm idling for 20 minutes before each run just to get the oil up to temperature. Here you can hear the Santapod jet funny car that literally shakes my car and shakes the windows of the tower before it's about to run. So the cars next to me are super gas and they are so loud I don't even know if my car is on. The whole car is vibrating. It is so loud in here, but not from my engine. Andy, and the, all my windows are vibrating because of Andy's car next door. The whole car is shaking. We're running against Troy, and, um, and I think he's running like a 12 or a 13 second. Oh no, he's put 14 on today, so we'll see. I'm definitely gonna lose this by about two seconds. For those RB26 fans, here's the sound from Ash's car when he launches. It actually bogs quite hard on the launch on every run, so I think he is losing a bit of time there. missed third or missed fourth I can't remember but I missed a gear great I like the commentary though he said it should have been a Mercedes C63 but it's transformed itself into a Golf. 0 0.067 reaction time though which was good
<laughs> okay, so on that run, I ran a 1626 and I dialed in a 16.3. So I was point, I broke out by 0 0.04. So I'm like number 21 right at the bottom of the leaderboard right now. So I need to dial it back in like a 16. 0.15 or something because I did miss a gear so it probably would have ran quicker than 16.3 so I'll dial it right back in for the next run hoping to get another run in today I don't think we'll get two runs in I think we'll just get the one but then hopefully we'll position a little bit higher on the leaderboard just to reiterate you can go slower than your time but you can't go well you, you can go faster like I did but it's really bad for your points you get knocked right down so you're only meant to go slower than what your time if you break out which is going faster than your time your points are rubbish on the leaderboard you go right to the bottom um, but luckily there was two people that broke out worse than me so i'm 21 out of 23. i wanted to show you a brief look at the pits at an event like this here we can see the vw sportsman class and to enter into this class you have to run a vag group product not necessarily a volkswagen but it is a dial your own et class similar to mine but with a slightly slower speed at 12.99 second quarter miles or more I have chatted to this gent before and I'm not actually that interested in his slingshot dragster. I'm more interested in his amazing truck, which if I remember correctly, can tow something like five tons. Here's the Santapod two-seater dragster, which is available for anyone to have a ride in as long as you've got some cash. That's a 9.8 litre big block Chevy running C12 octane race fuel and it makes around a thousand brake horsepower and weighs a little over 1100 kilos. We're probably looking at close to a thousand brake horsepower per ton. It will spit you to 170 miles an hour in eight seconds. Some people take it pretty seriously too, so this is a weather station on top of someone's race trailer, but these junior dragster teams spend a lot of money on each race, so I guess that they want to win. Any advantage that they can get over their opponent is probably worth it. And here's the real reason why I go racing, flask tea and a bag of cookies. Okay, so we're finally getting a Q2, it is five to six, and the rain has really held us off today. So qualifying round two, I think this will be it. I don't know if we'll get a qualifying round three, even tomorrow. So I've done a 16.1 dial in. I think that's pretty conservative. The fastest car has ever ran is a 15.97. So I think 16.1 is fairly safe, I hope. If I break out of that, then I don't know, we'll see. I'm nervous as you can tell, but I don't know. All we can do is hope for the best. Whoa. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, I stole it. Okay, so as you saw, I stalled it on the start line. I'm not even sure what the commentator said. Oh, so embarrassing, but you know, people have done worse. People have left their handbrakes on and stuff on the start line. So I'm not last qualifier, which I can't believe. Chris is still, I think he must have broken out or something worse. Uh, so I'm second to last. So yeah, drag racing in a manual, very, very difficult. Tomorrow's another day and um, I'm done for tonight. I'm gonna go home and uh, have a cup of tea so see you tomorrow okay so morning it's eliminations round one this morning so just here at the track and it's very sunny and nice and warm so we'll see how we get on this morning i'm up against georgie in the supra and she's very consistent so we'll see how we get on but the car is all good still dirty from yesterday so hopefully left hand lane no stalls that's what we're going for so this should be a really good race as Georgie's dial-in is 1585 and mine is a 16 flat meaning that theoretically we should cross the finish line within 150 milliseconds of each other and just to remind everyone blinking takes around 300 milliseconds so blink and you'll miss it. Also this is one of my childhood hero cars the Mark IV Supra with the two JZ GE okay it's the non-turbo version but still it's running the same quarter mile time as my commuter diesel Golf.
Donnelly who gets their first but broke out. Really good race that was, probably the best race I've ever had. That was really good fun because Georgia was right next to me the whole time. Awesome fun. Okay guys, so as you saw, I am out. I broke out by 0 0.06. So this car is just, it's too quick really uh, for what it should be. I always think it will run slower because, you know, it's a 16 second car and then it runs a 15.94 like it did just then. Or It's a bittersweet because I've lost to Georgie who, you know, she ran really, really good run. She was only point, I think she was 0 0.01 off. Um, so I never would have beaten her anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's good fun. Such a good race, like neck and neck all the way to the finish line. Because Georgie's dialing was a 15.85 and mine was a 16.0 and I ran a, a 15.00. 94 so really really close race and it's just right next to me the whole time and i've been hunting for a race car all weekend so uh, i've seen a couple there's a couple advertised here so yeah maybe i think a week today i'll be looking at them going and driving around and seeing some race cars so stay tuned for that thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video until next time righty tighty lefty loosey see you then